All right. Oh, now we're good? Now we should be up. All right, get that, get that. Save and clean. All right, I'm going to minimize that so you can see. All right, are we up there? I don't know. Can James Dean see anything? I can't see nothing. Serve. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there we are, there we are. And we are live. Wonderful. Isn't that great? All right, we're going to record. And we're off. Okay. Fine. Hello. Where, where can we? Yeah, there we go. Move over a little. Here, I can bring up. Hold on. We got it. Hold on, I can make this. No, not that. No. Go. No. That's better. Right, right where we're at. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to bring up the video. Oh, there we go. There. Okay, where'd the video go? Hey, there it is. And we've really? been we've been recording for now a minute now. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing yet. So. Yes. Sorry for the oh so unprofessionalism. Eight minute delay. Is that a word? Sure. Unprofessionalism. Use whatever word. Anywho, you want. my name is Austin. I'm James. And this is lunchtime thoughts. No, no, no. <laughs> we're doing we're doing this new thing. Um, we have a YouTube channel. You can go check it out. It's called. Unlikely Friends Podcast One, and um, we are uh, we're doing like a bunch of shorts every time at lunch. I ask James semi funny question and he answers it, and it's been going over kind of big actually. How many views did we have on that one video? Two point two k k thousand for the lay them. That's twenty two hundred. Not too shabby. We finally got our first uh, negative comment too. Yeah, what do you say? Oh, uh, don't about. Lose your day job. Yes, I saw you comment on it too. Yeah, I corrected him because the idiom is don't give up your day job. Yeah, he didn't come back at you either. I know. He knew better. I, yeah, he did. Absolutely. That's right. Don't start a fight on the internet you can't handle. That's right. Look at James Dean with his hat back, the cool guy. Look at his beard. almost no, forms in with your shirt. No, I did it so you can see my face. Oh, yeah, because you said about the eyes. It would be like this. It would be in the shadows. Yeah, you look like uh, uh, it's just no good. Look like you're standing into an aquarium or something. No good, right? Yeah, no. It's, you got to be able to see my eyes. <laughs> yes. You can't really see my eyes with glasses anyway. But How's your day going so far? My day? Yes. It's always good. Did you wake up early? Did you get to sleep in, given mm. that Saturday? No. I, yeah, sure. I slept in. Slept in till about 9.30, which is rare for me. Felt good, though. Yeah, but what time do you go to bed? I go to bed pretty early, not going to lie. About, actually, I stayed up kind of late last night. I was up to like 11, which is kind of rare for me. Mm. You stay up to like 2 a.m. and somehow you're still refreshed to start the day. I was up till I went to bed at 1.45. One have you always like gone to sleep late, though? Oh, really? Yeah. Or since you were a kid? Even my mom used to call me a night owl. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't do it. Even when I was young, I couldn't do it. I'm conditioned now. Yes, you are. You've been around the block. And so we want people, if you're watching live, to comment so I can see them. Yes. Well, you know that it's on our page we're streaming live, and we have like 15 followers on there. So I know. If, if, I any, wouldn't be if, any, if anybody's watching, comment. Yeah. It could have been on if my Facebook page. If you're not watching, you're wrong. But, uh, you know. Eh, sure. What? Could have been on my Facebook page. I know your Facebook page. 800 friends or something like that, you know. They're yeah. not going to watch anyway. If they won't come to this page, they're not good enough. Yeah. Well, we'll eventually get them there, right? Eventually. Yes. It may take time, but we is will your, get Is your dad watching? I don't know. He's so bad. Yeah, or <laughs> the he last... Watched, he watched the last one? Yeah, but he... He, <laughs> what did he, he even commented. Yeah, but he commented. I, sa I put a post on the page saying... Um, oh, he commented on the post? Yeah, yeah. he said, why can't I see you? I was like, I, it's letters, there's no video here. <laughs> so I doubt if he's watching, but his girlfriend Nancy is, um, she's a little more tech savvy, I guess you could say. So. Nancy? Yes, Miss Nancy. My mom, I think, might be watching, though. She was all excited about it, and she's actually pretty good with uh, technical stuff. She needs to comment. Yes, she does. She uh, she sent me a message. I'm not going to really check it right now, but maybe she'll figure it out. Actually, I don't even know if she likes the page, though, so so I'm really not sure. Oh, yeah, there she is. 
She's on there? No, she's uh, oh. here. T- keep uh, keep people busy while I respond to her. Keep people busy. Just respond to her. Look at our pretty faces. Can I dead air? Da, 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 da. My mustache is amazing. <laughs> Facebook. Mustache page. wax and all. Follow the unlikely friends. Eerie PA. Da, 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 da. Keep people busy when you're talking to yourself. Sorry, it's a habit. You know, I hate dead air. It's an ADHD thing. It is an ADHD thing. Weird. I, I find find how, or I don't want to say suffer from it, because I don't think I suffer from it. You think you suffer with yours? Like, you think no. it's like... I have superpowers that other people don't have. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they, in turn, have superpowers that I don't have. <laughs> like being able to concentrate on one thing. Yeah, that actually kind of is a superpower. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Or... When I do concentrate on one thing, I forget the rest of the world exists. Yes. Because it's hyper-focusing, and then everybody else can screw off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People, when people say, like, I'm mul- like, or actually, actually, that's something I wanted to ask you. Are you actually, like, I'm really good at multitasking because yeah. of the ADHD. Are you good at it? Like, you can do a ton of stuff at once? In an, yeah. In a, in, a, in a given situation, yeah, I can multitask pretty well. Yeah, that's, I mean... There's a lot of things going on in my brain at the same time anyway. Yes, absolutely. I uh, sometimes Yeah, but you're lucky, though. You're able to shut it off at night. Like, you don't have issues with sleep. No. Really. Yeah, well, when I get to sleep. In a way, actually, in a way, you kind I of have issues with your sleep because yeah. you go to sleep at, like, 2 a.m. Right, but when, I, when it shuts <laughs> off, it, when it finally shuts off, it shuts off. Ah. Like, right now. When you dream, do you still have ADHD? <laughs> In my dreams, it sure yeah. seems like it. <laughs> sure I was, seems, my dreams are a mess. I was thinking about that last night. I've been having all kinds of. No, when my when my the the the, the live feed of the week downloads into my brain, they're a mess. Just, they're just a mess. <laughs> yep. No, I'm I'm with you on that. I have some whacked out dreams. Actually, I started taking or started started kind of sort of keeping a dream log again. I used to do it when I was a kid, and I read back. Ten years of it, and <laughs> it was a mess. My dreams, like it was just was pretty disturbing stuff. But um, I don't know. I find dreams very interesting because you can kind of figure weird stuff out in your life from your dreams. At least I can. I, I mean, you, you. if you, I guess, if you want to, I mean, your dreams are just downloads of your past few days. Yeah, yeah, but in, in a messy way. Yeah. Yeah. Your dreams are a little different than mine. We talked about them. Oh, yeah. I have some whacked out dreams. Yeah. Yours are, like, I got, like, death in my dreams and, like, like true stress. Like, I used to always, I used to have this weird, weird thing in my dreams. I'd always be, stu- like, stumbling. Like, it was almost like I was drunk. Like, I just kept falling down, falling down. I found, I looked up what it is. and actually means that you have low self-esteem in yourself. I was just going to ask that question. Yeah. And that's exactly what it was. Mm-hmm. Like, I learned, like, I'm in therapy right now. Got all kinds of fucked up things wrong with my head, but <laughs> not really. Everyone thinks when you go to therapy, like you got something really wrong with you. But, but um, yeah, I came to learn in therapy that like I don't have a ton of confidence in myself, and a lot of times to other people I come off that I do have the confidence, but it's called masking. It's, it is called masking, and I got very good at it over the years. But um, I don't have that dream anymore, so very happy good. about that. Good. Yes. And then I used to have a dream. Oh, I can't remember what it meant, but a lot of people have this dream when your teeth are falling out. Yeah, I don't have the teeth falling out dreams. You don't even have any messed up dreams. No, my dreams are a mess. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a mess in just a different way, I guess. Yeah, like if I had a dream about today, I'd be having a podcast like in jail and I'd be wiping my <laughs> face with the Clorox wipes, drinking a rain, you know, behind my head or some weird bull crap. And there'd be a big guy behind you going, it's hey, time, boy. Yeah, hey, Bubba. It's time, boy. Right. <laughs> you know what to do. And then you're, I'd turn you're, around and it would be President Trump or something. You ever see in the, in the, in the old prison shows how when the prisoner takes out his, his pocket out and this bitch has to hold on to it? Did you no, ever see I that? No. It's a, thing in, it's a thing in prison. I think they still practice it today, but you're someone's bitch. They take out like the sleeve of your pocket and you got to carry him around. You always hold on to that so everyone knows that you're a bitch. That's a mess. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't survive very long in prison. I would be put in the hole. Yeah, we talked on purpose. 
you'd actually you'd Re- actually enjoy being in request, the hole. I know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Especially if they gave you some art supplies and art stuff. Art supplies, that's all I'd need. Be good to go. If I'm allowed to paint on walls, leave me alone. That's right. Oh, yeah, I wanted to play this. I don't know if this is a good time or not. What? I'm going to play this little game with you. Oh, geez. Slang term questions. Here we go. I don't have any intro music to a game show. Some family feud type, type music. All right, I'm going to ask James some slang terms. A lot of these are like hip-hop slang terms. I won't know them. And him being a Gen Xer, we're going to see how many he knows, or what he thinks they are. All right, any idea what a bag is? Something you put your groceries in. <laughs> no, a bag's money. No, it's not. <laughs> bag's money in Money's a rack. Money's money. <sighs> a bag is something you put stuff in. No, you're you're right. You're a right. A book bag. All right. A grocery bag. Next, bussin. Tables. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should know this. You're a big gun fan. Like gunshots. Sh- no, shooting. gunshots are gunshots. Shooting is shooting. Not bussin. No, that's bussin tables. <laughs> Cleaning tables at a restaurant. Uh, here's one. This can actually have two meanings. Probably not. Cake. It's what you eat at a birthday. No, it can mean a big ass. No. It could also mean money as well. That's, bag and cake. It's, yeah, you put your cake in a bag. Let's go get this cake, dog. <laughs> you put your cake in a bag, it's going to be a mess when you get home. <laughs> what are we going to do with him? <laughs> uh, a cap. You might have heard this. I'll use two of this. <laughs> line. I bust, bust a cap. Yeah, no, I know what that is. You shoot me. There we go. All right. You got, you got a little Still something. Still think it's dumb. <laughs> Oy vey. All right. Or no, that's a dumb one. They're that's all dumb. <laughs> d- dead ass. I have no idea. Yo, he was, I'm, I'm dead ass about this oh, podcast. Oh, I guess you're serious. Yeah, I'm dead ass about this podcast. Yeah, serious. Good yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> you did pretty good. You're two for 20. Yeah. All right. This one you probably know. A Don. Dawn? Yeah. That's like uh, mafia stuff. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, no. Nice. I'm Italian. <laughs> drip. You don't you don't have any drip. Drip. Man. Is that like when you have a cold and your <laughs> nose is running? <laughs> uh it could be that. But in the hip hop world, it's a cool outfit, jewelry, drip. Dude, I got a Transformer shirt on. I'm drip. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Yeah. It's drip. What uh, is it? Is it drip? Transformers. Wait, I'm opposite. There it is. Optimus Prime. Yeah, you got some drip. Drip. All right. <laughs> All right, we got it. Like 80s a, drip. We got it. Yes, you do. We got we got a couple more. Some of these I've never heard of. Flossin. I don't do it. <laughs> I admit. Nah, uh, actually, you sometimes floss. I, I don't ever floss. No, James. Flossin means showing off. Stunting. You show off sometimes. Cleaning your, your co- teeth. Ah, god damn. Oh, what are we going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It can be both of those. But in the rap know. world, showing off. I don't like your new, your S10, it's all painted off. You might take it to a car show. You'd be flossing on people, showing yeah. that paint job off. Okay, I'm flossing. That two tone dog. Every day I'm flossing. It. it uh, or something. It, I don't know. Yeah, every day I'm hustling or That's what it is, hustling. All right, all right flex. <laughs> No, I think I know what that one is. That's when you you flex on someone. But I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's usually showing off with like money and stuff. Oh, flexing. I don't. I've do never that. been much for flexing either. I don't do that. It's kind of hard to flex when you have like five hundred. When you're bucks. poor. Yeah. <laughs> what up? Check out. <laughs> Counting my ones. Ooh, yes. Gas. Put in a car. <laughs> Gas is high grade weed, like real good weed. I don't even know that. I got that gas, dog. Only why would you just say weed? Cut. You got to use different terms around no. cops and stuff in public, and like, they don't know what that means. Like if you were, no, if you yeah, but if you were walking in Walmart and someone like you heard someone go, "I got that gas, man," you'd be like, oh, well, "Now I'm gonna know." Uh, but he must have had uh, ran out of gas in a parking lot. Yeah, no, the cops gonna walk by and be like, "Oh, did you need some gas? I can help you out with that." And, <laughs> Yeah, that one's that's an old one, kind of. 
Oh, okay, this one you might know. Hammer. Time. <laughs> <laughs> no, hammer, a gun. No, a hammer's a hammer. You put nails in with it. Or whatever. You hit things with it. <laughs> the hammer on a gun, though? No, you don't use a gun as a hammer. <laughs> All right. My gun doesn't have a hammer. Let's call it a striker fire. Hard. Luck? This one kind of makes sense, actually. Hard. Yo, he's acting hard on... No, see, Gen X hard means hard body. Hard body? <laughs> yeah. What is that, like... Good body. Oh, hard body. I think. I yeah, I can see that, kind of. Did you say that? Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to go down that road. What? Hard body seems like it relates to a guy. <laughs> no. Like, that dude's got a hard body. No. You say it about a chick? Yeah. She's got a hard body. Yeah. Why not? Huh. I don't know why. Let me get to or I do what I want. <laughs> yeah. You're uh you're confident in your masculinity. Been married for a long time. And it's not toxic? Yes. Toxic masculinity. Stupid. We can get into that. Eventually. Ice. Ice baby. God, you sure love the Some early nineties. Diamonds. Yes. Nice. Yeah, the early 90s and 80s, best era ever. Jackin. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, Jack in a box. Oh, James D. <laughs> Stealing, robbing someone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Him. Carjacking. There you go. A jabroni. Yeah, it's like your buddy. <laughs> a goofy guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a dumb term. A lick. Tootsie Pop. By doing, I'll use it in a sentence. By using, by doing this podcast, if we get some sponsors like Rain, maybe we'll hit a lick. I don't know. Make money. Oh. <sighs> we called it earning. Lit. Hi. Yeah, usually it's drunk, but... Whatever. Yeah. Under the influence. <laughs> Lit. How many of these are there? Hold up, I only got... I'll do I'll do three more. A Nina. A what? The uh, Nina Pinta Santa Maria? Uh, <laughs> no, a gun. It's not a Nina. Nine, a Nina, nine, Nina, nine, kind of sounds what if like you have Nina. 45? Well, it's still... I mean, it says gun. Nah, that's dumb. Son of a bitch. All right. Let me give you two more good ones. Some of these I really think are dumb. You know that one. I'd do opposite of this and give you Gen X terms, but I don't think we had terms because we just referred to things as what they were. No, we already tried that at work. You can you only come up with like two. I know. A tech. That's what Brandon is. From Cam Erie. Yeah, Brandon's the head guy here. He's uh, a tech. Tech is a semi-automatic pistol. Yeah, but it's not. Tech 9? They're all semi-automatic. Unless they're an Uzi. Even there's Uzis that are semi-automatic. I'm not going to argue with that. I don't know shit about guns. So I'm not going to go down that that road with James Dean. Actually, I think Uzis are automatic. Oh, you know this one. WAP. <laughs> he, he knows what it is. You guys out there probably know what it is, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, James Dean doesn't cuss, so that's a word he can't say. No, that's not a word I can say. It's without papers. Uh, that's what a WAP means. Uh, it's a derogatory term towards um, anybody that was coming over on the boats, and they snuck in, and they were without papers. You were a WAP. Generally, it was to Italians. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. That's what it should still mean, but for some reason it does not. And if you have an Italian flat tire, what does it go? Does it go? No, what does it go? How does it sound like? What does Italian flat tire sound like? Wop, 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 wop. Yeah, but you got to go, day go. Oh, day. Wop, 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 wop. Speaking of that, so yesterday, how'd your day go? <laughs> <laughs> I went very Italian. <laughs> all, these, all of you out there, I actually love Italians. All right, so just, uh, just a little joke, inside joke we have. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not racist. <laughs> All right, last one. We'll cream. get into that. We'll get. Oh, uh, we'll get into that later. Cream. Cream. You put it on your hands. I never do. 
I don't know. Whip Another cream? term for money. That's so Cash dumb. Cash rules everything around me. Get the money. Oh, my gosh. Dollar, that's, dollar bill, yo. That's an antonym. Yes. Aye, aye, aye. Is that aye. an antonym? Synonym. No, antonym. I can't. I, I did so bad in English. It's yeah. not even funny. That was my worst subject. Failed English every year, except senior year. I'm actually a decent writer, too. It's weird. You know who or who else failed English every year and had to retake his grade three times was Eminem. He's a pretty good lyricist. He's a very good lyricist. I will give him that. Even for, yeah, a guy who doesn't like rap. Everyone, even if they don't like rap, they say is, is his stuff considered rap? Oh yeah, they call it. They used to call it uh, shock rap, I think, just because some of the stuff he says is kind of out there. Like there's a song called Kim. If, never, if no one ever heard of it, listen to that song. It's I did. pretty messed up. Yeah, probably. No, his stuff. Of course, he's rap. Why wouldn't it be rap? Because it's more lyrical than it is. I mean, I guess it's rap. I well, guess. what do you? Well, how's that not rap? Well, I grew up with different rap than you did. But. Yeah, you grew up with that. The old school, the Run DMC, yeah. the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Okay, I like Beastie Boys. But yeah, yeah, no, rap's changed. Changed for the worst, in my opinion. But Eminem's pretty dang good. I like Eminem. Yeah, no, he's a good he's a good lyricist. I don't mind his songs unless they talk about weird things. But well, yeah, a lot of like his newer stuff is more. Uh, it's not uh, not as vulgar, but like his early stuff. Because he has three he has three different personalities. He has Marshall Mathers, which is his real name. He has Eminem. Then he has Slim Shady. Slim Shady is the messed up one. Like he's the he's a disturbing individual. So does he have a disorder? He actually probably does. I know he has a drug disorder, but he probably <laughs> he might have what's bipolar tripolar personalities. I, don't know if that's I mean that's weird. I mean whatever. It did well for him, I guess. Yeah, he did it because like it's almost like you can. It's almost like in a way. I think it's kind of smart because you almost have three different careers in a real weird way because you have some people who like this person, that person, that person. So it. It's kind of smart on his part, but he regrets a lot of the stuff he did, like his early stuff, because it, it was pretty messed up. I mean, it got him where it's at, where he's at. So, yeah. I mean, do you regret it or do you look back on it and learn a lesson? He has a, he has a song called out or called "Cleaning Out My Closet," and he like bashes his mom. Like I know, ba- I've heard bashes, it, bashes her. That was like one of his early songs, wasn't it? Yeah, that was off. Like, yeah, yeah, no, that was one of the songs I had a problem with. Yeah, it was pretty disturbing, and like he hated. It. He always talked talk talk shit on his mom, like. In a lot of his songs, but that one, like he stopped doing it concerts and stuff because it was it was messed up. It was horrible. The one line he says, his daughter's name Haley says, and Haley's getting so big now, you should see her. She's beautiful, but you'll never see her. She won't even be at your funeral. Yeah, no, I, he so, was man. really like it was it was bad. Didn't he like kill kill his mom in that one or something weird? Or no, that was uh, that's he killed his his ex wife Kim in a song called Kim. Oh. He killed her twice in two songs. Okay. Ninety seven Bonnie and Clyde, which is a he's like saying a lullaby and baby words and a rap song to his daughter about having his wife, aka his daughter's mom in the trunk and tossing her off a boardwalk and strapping stuff to her so she floats to the bottom of the ocean and he's like talking to his daughter about it, like how she's just playing dead or floating in the water acting silly. That's another messed up song. But uh yeah. I like him. Yeah, no, I I do too. I but like, yeah, but I agree. I, his uh, his lyrics are the way he twists words to actually rhyme that don't rhyme, just by the way he pronounces them. I think that's pretty intelligent. Yeah, like the word orange. You said no one could rap that orange porridge. Yeah, like four inch door hinge porridge. Like this and when you when you it. when you're flowing, it, I I think he's I think he's good. Yeah, no, it is talented. Talent. Lyrics aren't, and music lyrics aren't as important as they used to be, though. Like, when you were growing up, like, lyrics actually meant something, I feel like. They meant a lot. Like, the the writers, like, my favorite group, Metallica, would write around, write about really um, personal stuff and meaningful stuff, along with, you know, just normal stuff. Um, Megadeth would write about political stuff, stuff like that. And, yeah, the lyrics really had meaning and, you know, purpose. They were part of the song. They weren't just in the song. Did you have people back then that, like, just listened more for just the guitar and stuff? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Like, okay, so that's always kind of been a thing for some people. Oh, yeah. They don't listen to the lyrics at all. They just like the quote-unquote there's, there's beat. A, there's a lot of songs that I would listen to that it was just about the music. And then when I, like, at work, when I started wearing headphones mm-hmm. and I could hear the lyrics real clear, <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, this is a really good song. Yep. 
or, or have you ever had one that you loved it and then like you maybe read the lyrics or heard them clearly and you were like, wow, I didn't know it was about that. <laughs> yeah, no, I have. I've had some shocker songs and um, then I don't listen to them anymore. Yeah. I disagree with them and I try not to listen to things I disagree with. It was like the uh, on uh, Thursday when I was playing that real hardcore music. It was like Parkway Drive, like that screamo stuff. The, yeah, I know. Oh, like, I don't know it, if people have to just listen to that more for just the I don't know how you couldn't. Like, <laughs> even if you were reading lyrics, you can't understand it. Yeah, exactly. Like, but you make up whatever words you want. Yeah, and like, like, or like you, like even you said, like the instruments are now freaking badass. Oh like yeah, this, no, you can do without the singing. The, sure. the metal and the, the the distortion and the drop Double tuning drums. and it's all. Yeah, that's that's. I love that, but when you start screaming, like the one band, I, did you show it to me or I showed it to you? The one with the dog. Yeah, there's there's a band out there. I it's, can't I, tell the difference. I can't remember the name of it. It's something. It's like called Canine or something like that. But yeah, yeah they, they record they, dogs growling and put it into a song, and it sounds the same. Exactly the same. Yeah, you can't even tell the difference. And they were actually like kind of a big band too. Which and I bet you there was people out there that were like, I know what he's saying. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, I know what he's saying. <laughs> oh yeah, he said this. Yeah, and then what, you're like, dude, it's a dog, and people yeah. are like, no, it can't be. People are going to argue over ridiculous things, which is going to be coming up here shortly. Our topic. Hmm. Yeah. You have a topic in mind? I do. I was going to text you and ask you if you had any thoughts for anything the next day, but uh, truth. Let's get in truth. Truth. Oh no. Truth and opinions and words. <laughs> words. Uh. So. What do you think when I say truth? What do you think of? I think of honesty. Okay. Honesty, um, ugh, that's kind of a, a, an, a, a hard topic for me, kind of. Mm, yeah, it is, isn't it? For me, for me, I mean, I'm a lot better now, but the truth was something really hard for me to tell for many years. And, why? Um, what's, as my mom would say, don't ask why. Ask what's the reason. For me, I think I always had an issue with people... I always wanted like everyone to like me, mm. and um, in order for everyone to like you, you can't always be yourself. So mm. I would disagree. Well, hey, I'm just telling you. I know. I no, I disagree. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I just, I yeah. disagree with your statement, not with, with you. No, you. I, I, and it's, it's, it's weird. We're, we're actually talking about this in uh, group a couple of days ago, but like. I was so afraid to always be myself because I thought people weren't like me, and um, I don't like. I, I don't know. It was a weird, weird thing, but like I found out that actually being honest and being real and like not really, per se, caring what other people think. Mm -hmm. People like me more. Mm -hmm. It kind of back it backfired mm -hmm. in a good way, which I didn't think. I used to tell my daughter that all the time. Oh yeah, all the time. What? Just be yourself. It. What I say is stop trying to get friends. And you'll get friends. Hmm. True. Because they can, people can tell too mm -hmm. when you're just trying to. When you're fake. In. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. They might not be able to tell what you're fake about, but they'll have the feeling. Yeah. Some, some people, some people are just clueless, but. Well, yeah, because some people are so fake themselves too. They don't, yeah. They don't even know who they are. They don't see it. Yeah, no, no. But, but it's, it's, it's what you're talking about is another form of masking. You're trying to do what people, what you think people want you to do so they will like you and it's a, it's a form of masking and it's it, it's 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 very degrading it's very hurtful to the person themselves no oh oh, well, oh like to, to like you you were just hurting yourself oh yeah i thought that's or i won't I'm not trying to make this all about me or trying to no no, no that, it's it's just the instance that you brought up that but we're, yeah we're going but like hurting yourself like i found out not that long ago too like like six or eight months ago i found out that most of my life it was hard to come to this realization too that I like I hated myself, and it was like it was weird because I was always more of the popular like or not really popular but you know outgoing and always always happy go lucky and like uh, what do they call it like the the sad clown or whatever mm -hmm. whatever that's kind yeah, of yeah. stupid saying but like I'd be all cheery and everything and I'd go home and I'd just be like so depressed mm -hmm. about like like ugh like it was just not me you know so there's there's an old saying it's probably biblical I don't remember. You must love yourself before you can love anybody or anyone can love you. Doesn't it sound doesn't that sound easy though? Easy to no. do? It sounds like it should be easy to be no. able to love yourself. I mean, it should be. It yeah. should be. It should be, but I mean if you look at the the, the world around you. Oh, is that no, 
It wasn't a comet. If you look at the world around you, there's so many expectations of people. Yeah. You're expected to do this. You're expected to do that. You're expected to think a certain way. You're expected to have, you know, and what I what I was getting at with truth is people, I think, are ended up, they're confusing. Oh, we got a comment or something. Anyway, people are, are, are confusing their opinion with truth. Like, I believe you can have your own truth, which is your opinion. Mm-hmm. And when you start speaking your truth and people start believing your truth that doesn't make it an absolute or a real truth yeah and then and then you got people following people around and doing the same things and and these ex- expectations their thinking are, are just so far out there and so then then you get people that aren't being themselves they're they're following other people like they don't think for themselves oh yeah so well, you know you know what's really what's really hurt hurt especially younger people with all that now is social media <laughs> social media everyone is, compares their lives is a to mess. so many they compare their lives to so many other <laughs> other people's lives is that, your mom lisa yep that is she her. just followed us oh that's she wasn't even part of it that's okay. what that's what it was maybe she's on now maybe she's on lisa hi mom if you're the ba. only person watching comment <laughs> her na- her her nickname is ba i don't know why ba. how that came to be ba yeah I have ba don't know how I came to be, but that's what all so my probably friends. Probably from you, you couldn't pronounce mother or mom, and you're bah. Well, I used to, I, <laughs> I used to have a, I used to have a speech impediment, like bird. I'd say bud. So there, maybe, there it is. Yeah, that's that actually that. Wow, just solved that. If thirty year mystery, Le- <laughs> Lisa, seconds. Lisa, explain it. If that's what it was, if you're watching, explain that. Yes, I don't even know if she. Maybe she does know. I don't know. I never asked her that question. <laughs> never asked her how she got She's her nickname. Your mom. I hope she knows. Yeah. No, she probably does. Probably. If you don't make something up, he doesn't know you don't know. Exactly, you can pretty much say any say anything at all, and yeah. it, that's the truth. Anyway, where were we? Truth, truth. Yes, and social media and how people compare their lives to everyone else. And yeah, it, the, the expectations one should have should be his own expectations or her own expectations. You should worry about yourself and not anybody else. True, it's easier, especially the, or older you get, you come to learn that a little bit more. But I feel like a lot of kids in high school, especially now with how kids are so much or so much bigger moly, bullies, not really physically, but like on the internet than they ever used to be. Oh yeah, it's hard for kids. And that's like bullying to me. Like when I was in school, bullying was physical almost. Yeah, beat almost it, all the time. You beat were in their somebody's ass. Face. Yeah, you were or in somebody's face. Yeah, or you'd lose, or you'd get in a fight, and then it was over most of the time. And then you might even be friends afterward. Yeah, no, you would be. Oh, really? <laughs> you would be, what's what's the word? You would be tolerant of each other, fake friends. Yeah. You really wouldn't. You really weren't friends, but all of a sudden you had a mutual respect. And the fight probably wouldn't happen again. No. One and done. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't happen again. It would be. It would be. You would just tolerate that person. You'd say hi. You know, even if it was a fake hi, you just it was over. Yeah, and yeah. then you weren't bullied anymore. Yeah, I think a lot of bullying too, though. I think a lot of bullying starts with the pe- person getting bullied. If they ended or had, if if you have a hard time being bullied, you have a better chance of not being bullied. Like if you don't let yourself be bullied. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but I don't like like I was I was never never bullied in school, and it's like it was always like. The nerdy, you know, nerdy kids or the weird kids who were bullied, but like, what about it? Why were they bullied though? Because they didn't stick up for themselves, or um, what? Like, what? You, I was just trying to see what you what you mean by what you said. What do you mean so, about so. about um? What'd you say about bullying? If you're not, like, if like I have a hard time being bullied. You were never bullied. No, I was bullied, but I have a hard time being bullied. Like, I don't care. You've always, I know, but you. Remember, you don't belong to a group. I know. <laughs> we, we we talked about this at work, and I lo- I love I love James Dean. Like he's a good dude. Like he's become like a really close friend of mine. And his personality is. We went over this in the last episode. His personality is interesting. It's different. He's very he's stoic personality, and he's just very straightforward. He doesn't get crazy excited about stuff. He doesn't really get sad about stuff. He doesn't show his emotions like a lot of other people do. No, because emotions cloud your judgment. Yes, and I was like, what group did you belong? Were you in the popular kids? Were you in the weird no. kids? Were you in the sports kids? No. Were you da 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 da? No. And we found out he he's not really in like a certain class of people. And I always just kind of give him shit about that, but 
I, and I'm okay know, with it. Yeah, you, you can't be bullied. Can't be bullied. Hey, oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. If you're if you're secure, and it probably happened in like I don't know. I was always trying to be people's friends. I was always trying to be part of a group. I was always trying to be somebody that I wasn't. Until around it was like ninth or tenth grade, where I was just had a maybe it was just a realization where I was like, you were fake, kind of. In, in the very beginning, yeah. In in oh. my younger years, trying to find myself. You know, uh. when I was trying to find myself, I was like, oh, I want to be part of that group, or I want to be part of that group, and I want to fit in over there, and fit in over there. And, and probably like ninth or tenth grade, I was like, what, what do I care? Huh. I just don't care anymore. I don't want to be part of any group. I just want to be part of my own little group, me, myself, and I'm going to be me. Mm. And then all of a sudden, I was like, everybody's friend, and... Nobody had a problem with me. I, you know, sat at the pretty girls' table and, uh, yeah, and hey. Hoo, 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 hoo. Right. <laughs> but it, it was, I, I just, I had a realization where I just didn't care what people thought of me. But I'm also not doing bad things or goofy things to give people a reason to think about me. I stay yeah. in my lane. Yeah, true. I'm like a honeybee. Yes. Well, er, that's a reference to one of the shorts James Dean did when I was not at work the one day. But I didn't send it to anybody. Yeah, and he said bumblebee. Which I said bumblebee, but it's bumblebee. supposed to be a honeybee. Honeybees, they just go around. They go about their business. They see you. They see you. They go around you. They leave you alone. You, they don't want to be bothered. If you fuck with them, then. Yeah, then the fight's on. That's that. And that's kind of how I try to be. Like, just leave me alone. Don't don't force your force your opinions or your truths on me, and I'm not going to do anything to you. But you'll listen to other you'll listen I, to other people's. Opinions I will. All I, day I respect long. people. I respect people. Um, you know, and if if they want to tell me their thoughts, they should be willing to hear mine. Yep. Nope. I totally agree. That's it. I didn't I didn't know that you were kind of not sure. <laughs> Does that mean one person's watching? I think so. Sweet. Probably my mom. <laughs> First one. Number one. We're going to be posting this or on doesn't even YouTube. No reason. Yeah. Or on YouTube and our own Facebooks. Yeah, There's we'll no be linking whatever. No reason to say that because if you're watching this then, then you know we already did that. Yeah. Right? So it'll be recorded. Stupid. Whatever. Stupid. You'll be and able to see it. Yes. But that's because I or how how you came to that realization of just being yourself and that like it took me longest took me thirty how old am I now thirty three took me like thirty two years to come to that realization <laughs> actually not that long probably like thirty years I was just always trying to be fake and it also had to do with like I've had issues of my own I've had uh, she commented she finally figured it out forty five huh, minutes in. Oh yeah, she. You, or you kind of met my mom. I kind of met her you. one day. She always goes, James, the guy with the beard. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm the guy with That's the beard. James Dean, the guy with the beard. But yeah, but or the truth. Truth has always been the saying goes, a hard pill to swallow. It's not. Yeah, it's not. But it's, it's like I don't know, when you're trying to be, because it it's is, a hard pill to swallow if you don't want it. Yes, true. If you're a very, uh, what's the word, vet? Is it vapent or vapent? Is that a word? I don't know. I don't. When I don't you're know. like, when you're kind of full of yourselves, so maybe it's vapent. arrogant. It's word. full of yourself. Arrogant. Yeah, isn't it a word called like vapent or something? Yeah. Vacant. There's a lot of vacant people out there. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I'm thinking about all all the <laughs> all my history with. Your, your mom did a, a movie reference. I've actually never seen that movie. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah, it's got the guy I said I don't like last time, Tom Cruise. In it. Tom Cruise. It's got my boy. Jack. Yeah. I love he's that. the one that says you can't handle the truth. Oh, yes. He's great. But, um, yeah, no, it's definitely is. It's so much easier, too, when you're honest, too, because, like, for me, like, I almost became a, uh, what's the type of liar where you lie? Compo- Compulsive liar. Compulsive liar. You just com- lie all the time. Like and like, I forgot like what the truth was with stuff too. So mm-hmm. that's when you're really screwed up because you're telling someone a story and then they're like, "Wait, didn't you go? Didn't you go do this?" Right, and, and that's like, uh, that's kind of what I'm getting at when people have their own opinions and they turn them into truth, and then they start spouting their opinions as truth, and people start believing them. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's just it's ridiculous. No, no, absolutely, and um. It's uh, it's 
It's hurtful. Lot, yeah, no, it is. It's hurtful to society. Do you ever, actually, no, you've never, you never struggle with any of that anymore, right? Like, you're always yourself. Do you ever find yourself ever switching it up at all? And you're like, oh, wait, no, that's not me. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it ever went away. I think there are moments where I'm like, am I doing this because I want to? Or am I doing this because other people are doing it? Mm. You know, like when, when I build something or whatever, there are certain trends that I see that I'm like, oh, that looks cool. And then I go to do it. But then I got to check myself and be like, am I doing it just because I saw it? Or am I doing it because I like it and it was a good idea? Mm. And if I'm doing it just because I saw it and I, I want to put it on my bike or whatever just so other people can look at me, then I have an issue. Yep. You know, I don't I, – I try not to be – I have a sticker with a rat fink on it. It says, I built it for me, not for you, and rat fink is giving people the finger. Nice. Yep. But that's an old school – that's an old – a whole thing. Pathological liar. Pathological. Is that what, what I said? Compulsive. No, I said compulsive. Compulsive. Pathological, pathological. Yes. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. Thank you um, kindly. Yeah, yep. pathological. But anyway, so yeah, no, I – I try not to, but it's always there. I think everybody has it. I think it's being able to recognize it. Yeah. Like, if you can't recognize it, and then all of a sudden you're doing everything that's trendy or whatever, and, and you're you're not yourself then. It's okay to do a trend. Yeah. I just think it's it's how you do it or why you do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, that is. And it shouldn't be a truth. Your, your tr- trends are trends, and they shouldn't be your truth. Like, you should. Like, I like Harbor Freight Tools. Yeah. It's my truth. It's my opinion. I like them. That doesn't mean everybody has to like them. Yeah, no, absolutely. And everyone everyone tries too hard to fit in. And obviously, like, like I said, social media, the internet, all that like has made that a lot tougher for people. It's a I disease. Think. Yeah, it is. It's like being a, addicted to your phone almost. Like it kind of all kind of all forms into one Oh yeah, for sure. One thing. And um I yeah, mean, the other day when we were getting 1.7K videos <laughs> or views, I was at home. I'm like, wow, we got 1.7K. And Betsy goes, I hope you're not going to be one of those. I was like, listen, I'm not going to be one of those people. Like, I don't care if people watch it or not. Yeah. But it's not bad that we're getting that. Like, it, it's kind of exciting. You're like, I'm not going to turn to one of those people. 1.8! 1. 1. 1.8! 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> Check my phone. 1.9. No, I'm not going to become obsessed with what people think or say. What? Oh, my God. This guy said I have a stupid-looking beard. I Son know. of a bitch. Get in a fight. <laughs> Internet fight. Yep. James Dean wants to get in that online fight. I really don't, but it's just hilarious, and I'll do it just because it's funny. Yes, absolutely. Because the whole thing is just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, how people... Like our videos, they're they're like uh, one of the questions was if you could, or I asked James if he could do if if you could do one do one crime and get away with it, what would it be like stealing a generally and nobody everybody would like get one one hundred ninety something views yeah nobody cares about that it's because people suck that's yeah why. exactly like people just get like so offended with anything that you but if we had talked about there. the Dalai Lama sucking <laughs> getting his tongue sucked by some kid and it got 10 million views if no one heard if no one heard about that or seen it it's been like the news the past week the dalai lama who's the, like the holy of holy i don't know if he's like kind of a priest and i would Buddhist equate him world. to the pope but yeah he like there's this little kid i don't know how old he was like six yeah five. six eight six eight somewhere yeah. he was young he was real young and like way too young yeah and the dalai lama like they leaned in i think he kissed him first didn't he he did he gave him a kiss and then he said Suck my tongue, and yeah. it's like, dude. <laughs> and they said, the, and the dude sucked his, or Dalai Lama sucked his tongue out, and the kid sucked it. He went. I don't. Did he actually do it? Well, you couldn't really see because it yeah, wasn't it side was, by side. But yeah, he got closer than I would have gotten. I know, and then everybody clapped, <laughs> and we were like, "Yay!" <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone was like, "Oh, oh!" Like, and they were like laughing because, like, it's almost like Michael Jackson kids are going to sleep over his house. Like, it's a huge celebrity. You don't think anything weird's gonna happen? I know, right? It's, well, did they know? Well, I mean, keep keep young kids out of your house. Yeah. And, like, it's I don't even. Simple. I don't even ask my wife to suck my tongue. It's just <laughs> weird. I've never asked a girlfriend to do that, but I mean, I wouldn't. And I've been pretty drunk too. And I would not ask my girlfriend to suck my tongue. Just, I don't I know. I might ask for something else. I mean, <laughs> I've been married for thirty years. I can say, you know, yeah, but yeah, not my tongue. That is sick. It's weird. That's sick. I mean, there's people out there. Yeah, exactly. That that was just weird. And he did apologize. I didn't see the apology because I didn't care that much. Me neither. I mean, I'll always remember him as that guy now. I know. <laughs> when anybody, fifty years from now, somebody's gonna. Well, I won't be alive.
have it. Eh, maybe I will be. Whatever. Be, yeah. I could be. No. You'd, 48. I'd be 90. You'll be either pushing 100 or pushing daisies. All right. 30 years. <laughs> no, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, do you? Yeah. 48, 49? 40, yeah, something. <laughs> Eh, 40 okay, I'll just 40. say like this. When I'm 80 and someone goes, Dalai Lama, I'm going to be like, suck tongue. That guy sucked tongue. Yeah. Or someone sucked his tongue. The kid. That yeah, he has a kid be, to suck his tongue. Yeah, in 30 years, that kid's going to be all scarred. He'll be getting out of therapy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody's going to show him the video. They're like, look, you sucked the tongue. Uh, I remember that. <laughs> He'll always be that kid. <laughs> his girlfriend be like, you want me to suck your tongue? Exactly. It's like, gonna be horrible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna turn into a weird fetish for him. It's gonna he's gonna be in some. I, I hope not. Yeah, me too. I don't. I, I don't really know. I don't know much about the Dalai Lama. All I know is that like, he's like a really holy. Supposed yeah, to be he's a, supposed to be. I, I equate him to like the Pope. He's top top guy in their I, religion. And he's like like popes. Popes get it. Popes are stupid. <laughs> eh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> But I think I'm I not thought, kissing no guy's ring. I thought the Dalai Lama was supposed to be like two people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I thought the Dalai Lama was supposed to be like the hot or uh, like peaceful and stuff too. Isn't he part of Buddha and Buddha Buddhists? I don't know. Peaceful and something like Namaste that. and Namaste. Oh, Attica. No, not Attica. That's coexist. Uh, yes. Uh, stupid stickers. <laughs> yeah, bumper stickers. There's what do you think about bumper stickers? <laughs> take them off. <laughs> Nobody cares. I kind of enjoy them just because of... They're I'm, funny. Don't get me wrong. They're comical. Yeah, if I'm, like, driving behind someone, I'm s- stopping. If them, you like, can read this, you're following too close. Yeah, or, like, you just got passed by a girl. Yeah. It's uh, like, uh, I'm okay. not racing. I'm qualifying. Shut up. I'm so gay, I can't even drive straight. Yeah, that's so <laughs> dumb. Nobody cares. Nobody cares that you're gay. <laughs> exactly. And the whole... I just got passed by a girl. It's like... like so? So? Aren't like that's kind of in my opinion saying women are below men kind of like Yeah. Yeah, you just got passed by a girl. Okay. Big whoop. Great. <laughs> Good for you. You're a girl. Yay. Yeah. I like or yeah, I would never put one on my car, but I find them entertaining to read. Your mom doesn't like stick figure families. I don't either, but I've seen some that are really awesome. Like the ones that they're <laughs> the ones that like Oh, which one was it? There's ones that like they're eating. Yeah, um, yeah. I saw I saw one in Ohio. It was really funny. There was um there was like a smashed group of. It wouldn't make sense this, if it wasn't raining. There was like a smashed group of stick figures below the rear windshield wiper, and on the windshield wiper there was like a sock thing that went over. It, it was a rock. <laughs> so it was just bashing the stick. That's figures. awesome. That's that's hilarious. Yeah, I was like, that's good. That's creative. those are the ones that I kind of like because they're making fun of the ones I don't like. Yeah, but the one and like. And, like, I've seen some, like, they're driving this piece of shit, like, 80, 80s car, and, like, they have, like, 10 kids of the stick figures. Yeah. I'm like, man, you guys And then they put their cat and their dog. Yep, exactly. And a hamster. Ugh. Stop. Give no, me a break. Nobody cares. They're horrible. No good. Yeah. Yep, I agree with. Yeah, no, it's no good. But keep, keep your life to yourself. Yep, absolutely. Have you, or er, going back to the, tr- the truth thing for a second... Or um, do you are most of your friends really similar to you, like or no? Hmm. Like, are they honest like you are? Yeah, most of them. Most, most of them are honest. Yeah. Have you ever been friends with any friends who are like big liars and stuff, or no? Or you found out that they lied a lot, and you were like, eh, it's not the friend for me," or kind of moved along. Like in high school, I'm sure maybe. Or have you all? All of your friends have always been kind of like you. I I want to say most of my friends have always been honest because I think the the that's what I attracted. Mm-hmm. Because I was generally an honest, straightforward person, and I think to be around that kind of person, you kind of have to be able to be able to accept that kind of stuff. So I think if you're like that, you're going to want to be around it. Short question or quick question: Is the key to a good marriage being honest? Communication, communication is number one. Yeah, you gotta you gotta communicate and and being on. I mean, obviously, honesty is is definitely. But commun- if you're not communicating, even if it's bad communication, you're getting somewhere. Honesty, yeah, is such a lonely world. Everyone mm. is so untrue. What song is that? Billy Joel. Sorry, yeah, I probably, ADHD probably, in. probably didn't listen to that. No, y- yeah. You know, you have to be honest, but you have to communicate your honesty. Hmm. 
Mm. If, you, if you just keep your honesty to yourself without communicating, then nobody's going to know. Yeah. So communication, I think, is is probably one of the top top things in a marriage. Communication, huh? That's always. I don't think my mom would mind me sharing this, but I remember her always saying the reason uh, her and my dad separated was a communication issue. I never understood it when I was young either. I was like, communication. Like I see you guys talking all the time. Like. Right. Yeah. But yeah. That's not really communication. No, it is not. <laughs> you know, words. You know, you can. I'm going to the store. That's not communicating. That's weird for me. Or you've been married for how long? Thir- Thirty years. Thirty years. Mm-hmm. For me, for like relationships, the biggest thing that's always ruined my relationships is honesty and telling the truth. Communication's always been good, but in a way, by not telling the truth, communication isn't really good, right? I think kind of intertwined a little bit. What do you mean? Like with me, like for my relationships, it's always ended because I lied about something or lied about an issue that I had or whatnot. Lying isn't communicating. But telling the truth is communicating. Communicating is lying. Lying is hiding good communication. So they're kind of they're kind of similar. Similar in my mind. Oxymoron type kind of yeah, kind of sort of similarity. I mean, huh. if, you're, if you're lying, you're really not communicating the truth. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're yeah. communicating an untruth, which is terrible communication. So communication is number one in relationships. I, I think it is. And maybe I spun that to be my own truth. Well, Jane, <laughs> Jane. <laughs> hey, now, Betsy, what do you think about that? <laughs> She'd tell me. She'd tell me. That's the cool thing. Or oh, what the heck was I asking you about work, about you being honest with your wife? It was something like how you'll tell her even if, like, the truth hurts, like, you'll still – I'll still tell, tell it, it. Mm-hmm. but you'll say it in a nice way and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no. You, I think yeah. that's hard. For I mean, one of the <laughs> things, and we'll learn more about it, but I try to be as biblically correct as I can. And one of the things in the Bible it says is to do all things in love. So you can tell someone they're wrong in love. You can be angry in love. True. And it helps when you guys both have the same viewpoints like that, though. Yeah. Because then it's not coming from left field. No, about no, you no, saying no, no. something, yeah. quote, unquote, negative about her and she's like what yeah like i was just being honest yeah no you know i'm not gonna just you know straight up tell her like i don't even want to say anything (laughs) (laughs) i gotta go home to her yep absolutely but you know what i'm saying like i'll I'll be honest with her but i'll do it in love you know and and keep the communication going keep it open Mm -hmm. yep absolutely and uh that is the key to a long, healthy relationship. 30 years is a long time, and you're only 40-something. Eight, if not eight. Yeah, because you got married when you were 18, right? Yes. Right 1993. Outside high August 24th, 1993. I remember. <laughs> I just don't remember. I remember the date, just not how many came after. <laughs> hey, you got the date right, and then you got the end. So, yeah, you guys are. Oh, yeah. Or, um, this is a little message to Betsy. Mm. I think you guys should go somewhere. Shut up. For your anniversary. Shut and, up. And James shouldn't just We're going something. to. We're compromising. Go somewhere. We're going to go somewhere. We're just not going to go for as long. James is having his 30th anniversary coming up. And everyone out there, maybe you guys can comment what you guys think. I'll start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think they should go somewhere. Because so, James no, never we, travels. We, we, I don't. We've been talking about it. And we're probably going to go somewhere. We're probably not going to go as long as we wanted to or she wanted to. And then she might get her patio that she wants. So, comp- okay, compromise. Nice. Which means I'm going to be doing a lot of work. Hey, I don't, I don't give a shit about that. I just want you guys to go somewhere. Then you can come over and help. I would. Help. <laughs> help. <laughs> help. No, I would. I just, it's, it's weird. James is not like traveling anywhere. No. And I like going places. I can, I can look at pictures on my social media uh, and find the stuff. But what about the culture no. and the food, the good tasting food? I can food. cook all the food. And the stories, the the, the things you get to hear. I can read about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, can't teach an old dog new tricks, but. Um, you can, it's just harder for them to learn. <laughs> <laughs> hey <Hey-o. laughs> Yep, but um, I, uh, that's good. I'm glad to hear you guys might actually be going somewhere. Makes me, makes me happy here. Depends on how big the patio gets. <laughs> <sighs> I've, uh, All right, what time is it? Should we just keep going? It's twelve thirty-one. We started late. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, er, cause we're booked here. 
to one, but we gotta we gotta download, so, upload, blah blah. Yeah, we're so so. We're let's s- let's do closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on oh boy, I didn't know there was much of a delay there. Yeah, there's a big delay on there. Huh. Closing thoughts. Um, I know. Don't read that because it, it'll be real confusing. Yeah, I keep looking at. I, I, I know. So anyway, cl- close closing thoughts. What what is the message that we are trying to communicate to people today? If a chick break your dick, it ain't that thick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a joke. That's a Paul Mooney Chappelle show joke. It's not what I'm trying to convey to people. Um, maybe this will help. Will help someone out there like be had, yourself yes but um for the longest time like i w- did try to fit in with people and everything and i was fake and suffered suffered horribly from i got bad depression and just like it was just just a, a real mess for me but like i've just if you try to be yourself and just just be who you are people will appreciate it more they really yeah. will and i did not never thought that'd be true because i thought myself was the real me was someone that people wouldn't care to be around. And I found that not to be true, and it's actually made me a lot happier. So everyone out there, if you do be yourself and um, be as honest with yourself as possible, because you got to be honest with yourself before you're honest with other people. got to love yourself before you can love you. anybody else or they can love you. Yep. So my thing is trying your best to be honest with yourself. Try to be honest with yourself before you're honest. I just said that. Before mm-hmm. you're honest with anyone else. And um, to be yourself – whether it's shitty, great, weird, goofy, people will appreciate it. And always meet people where they're at. Don't put your expectations on them. Yes. And never mind. What? Don't say never mind and not say it. Say it. I forgot my thought. I was trying to come up with another thing. ADHD saying. kicked in. It's gone. Yes, it did. But yes, be yourself. Be yourself. Like an Aladdin. R.I.P. Robin Williams. And if any kids see this that are in high school, stop trying to get friends. You'll get friends. Yes, they will come. No one goes throughout their whole life with zero friends. Unless you don't want friends. Yes. Yes. Then you need therapy. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, I think that's where we're, we're at. Also, or like I said, this is follow our page, which is... Um, yeah, yeah, here we go. Ready? Which is... I don't know. You want to do the... Actually, no, we didn't plan that ahead. Like, um, comment, share. Like, comment, share our page at Unlikely Friends Podcast. Follow Ir- on. Yeah, sorry. ADHD <laughs> <laughs> interruption. Our, face, our Facebook page is Unlikely Friends Podcast, Erie PA. And, um, yes, follow that. That's where we're going to be doing these live streams from now. We did on my Facebook first, and James thinks, thinks and I agree, it's a good idea to be consistent with this, so. 11.30 on Saturdays here. We apologize for not being here the past two weeks. First one was my fault when I was fishing trip with my dad. No fault. It's it's important for family. Yep. I no. said it on the post. Absolutely. Wouldn't have changed it for anything. And then the bunny holiday was last weekend. So We care about our viewers. There was one. Yes, we care about you, and but, we want to be consistent. But guess what? Our family comes first. Yes, absolutely. And um, follow our – because a lot of people like these because the videos are a lot shorter – they're actually they're called shorts on YouTube, mm-hmm. and um, that is called Unlikely Friends Podcast One, and it's not the first one. When you tape that on YouTube, they'll come a channel that has two subscribers. That's actually, not us. I think last night I searched Unlikely Friends. That's it. No, a space. Unlikely Friends, and our shorts were like the first ones that came up. Really? Yep. I'm not going to have to pay that other people 20 bucks to dismantle their channel. We're just going to push them down. Yes. Run them to the ground. Yeah. Uh, they only got so like three subscribers. Yeah, I know, but it's annoying when you search for it. It's the first thing that comes up. People click on it, and they're like, what? Ours the fuck be, is ours, this? Ours will be better. Susan, yeah, it's like, yeah, it will. It will be. But as always, we appreciate everyone listening in um, to our... Fine again. I'm not allowed again. It's okay. Don't worry. We'll get this down pet. But, um, and. Right there. <laughs> we, uh, we appreciate everyone listening in. We'll be back next 
uh, Saturday at 11.30. In the better booth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. We're Actually, in, this wasn't really that bad. It wasn't. We're in a, a two-person podcast booth, and we only have one camera. So that's why we're yeah, trying to kind of kind of weird. Can't really look at each other. I like looking at James Zeme yeah. when I talk to him personally. Right. Yeah. I like to look into those eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. But we appreciate mm-hmm. everyone listening in we hope you like what you hear and yeah, if you have any comments questions yes. concerns concerns please think we're crazy? Comment. comment or you can email us i cannot oh, remember uh i cannot remember our email i don't know how many i have it right here don't worry i can bring it up yeah do it we have an email we actually have we back had a couple of people email it and it's uh it's um we did i like, like your brother emailed it I'm trying to make it sound like more people oh. email us. It's really hard to keep track of all the emails we get. It's crazy. It's almost like spam in a normal person's I email. I know. We have like, to weed oh through them. Gosh. and it's Jeez. Oh, my gosh. So painful. Yeah, like, oh, son of a bitch. But our email is unlikelyfriends at yahoo.com. And, yeah, if you, and we, uh, we, or we're going to have a little segment on uh, – YouTube, James. People are gonna send in questions and stuff. I don't think I told you about this, but oh, cool. we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have people send in questions to James. It might be like life questions or whatever, and James will respond to them and answer if we get honestly. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> oh, truthfully, we need, we need sound effects so bad. I got so many sound effects I want to do. But anyways, yes. So yeah, find us on our our YouTube channel. Find us on our Facebook page, and. Uh, I am Austin Cosmatine. And I am James D'Angelo. And why we, do we say our last names? I don't know. Nobody cares. I'm trying to sound professional. Anyways, thanks for listening. We will see you next Saturday.